There's the old beach token. What's swinging? We are here at Trash Bash and I am stoked because the weather is fantastic actually. The weatherman got it wrong once again. Never trust them. Glorious day here at Grand Haven State Park. We are out at Trash Bash. We have our volunteer metal detectorist out here helping me pick up trash. We're gonna see exactly how much we can find and just knock, no not knock, we're gonna bash the trash out of this beach. So stay tuned, let's see how much trash we clean up today. And uh, we've, we've got some pretty awesome things to give away to our volunteers. So uh, stay tuned and enjoy the trash bash. So. For those of you that didn't know me before, my name's Ace. I want to welcome you guys to Trash Bash. Thank you for coming out. Fun event where I just wanted to get a bunch of metal detectorists together and do something fun for the community. The goal today, picking up trash. Now that doesn't mean skip over the good targets, okay? Obviously, if you've got a good, you know, gold mid-tone target, dig it. You know, it's probably a pull tab, but dig it if it's gold, if it's a ring, you know, you get to keep that. That's part of metal detecting. So. Dig the good targets, but I'm gonna encourage you to switch your machines at least into uh, all metal type of mode because we also wanna dig up those rusty nails, you know, sharp objects, rusty cans. When we start, we're gonna kind of line up almost like a search party, not quite shoulder to shoulder, um, but in that kind of farm compound grid way. So we're just gonna mow through the beach. We're gonna go ahead and kind of start right out here by area four and five. We'll head down towards the campground, okay? And then literally wherever that person is on the near side is just gonna, everyone's gonna swing right around and then we're just gonna come right back. So it's just that nice kind of grid work as we just kind of mow back and forth up the beach, okay? Obviously as you get a target, you know, everyone doesn't have to stop and wait Okay, <laughs> yeah, but you'll kind of see their walking path and just kind of keep your line going down the beach And we'll just kind of grid it that way to help cover the area Picking up as much trash as you can now. It doesn't have to be metal again. It's trash bash I like to say use your eye track the number of times I've found a coin I've even found rings just I've seen them on top of the surface today's a good day You get that wind blowing the sand use your eyes use your eye track and you know if it's plastic if it's paper you know little bits of foil just pick it up real quick off the surface boop that counts that's trash okay it doesn't just have to be metal then once the events concluded or we're all tired and we're ready for lunch uh we're gonna i'm gonna go ahead put it all in you know one big bag i'm gonna go weigh it i'm gonna weigh it at chow hound they've got that nice big scale for your puppies Okay, I'm gonna put the trash on there. I've contacted them ahead of time. They're good with it. They know I'm coming um, But then we're gonna do a little contest uh, On social media guess the weight of how much trash we found. I've got a prize for the closest guess, okay I've also got some other goodies here courtesy of grave digger tools Those are for you guys. Those are for the people that uh, showed up. I've got we're gonna just do a fun little raffle I've got some other goodies, too so we've got that going on today. If you brought food, great. We'll have some little picnic afterwards, but other than that, let's get at it. Fill it up. <laughs> What's in my bag? Can I make a donation to your pouch real quick? Thank you, sir. What's got in your sack there? Okay. So we've only been out there for maybe 20 minutes, and one of the volunteers just brought this up. This was buried in the sand. It looks like it might be either some kind of hammock or some type of uh, shade tent. You can see here, it's got the carabiners on it. There's some shoes as well. And we've also got some party beads. Oh, well, someone was having a good time, but I'm disappointed that they left this on the beach. We don't want to see that here. So, uh, you know what? Let's bash that trash. All right, so after lunch, I decided to just hit the volleyball courts real quick. 
this is what we found. That's not okay. That should not be on a volleyball court, and nobody should have to step on that. So, uh, yeah, it pays to dig the big iron signals, especially during trash bash. So, uh, yeah, got that one out of there. Good save. All right, a few more finds, and we're gonna weigh this trash. All right, you got your trash picker. Good job. Nice, fine. Good job. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> trash, trash, trash everywhere. Nice 53. Should be a pull tab. There it is. There's the old beach token. All right. Bashing that trash. So we dug the old can lid, the beach token, and now look at this ugly thing. Oh yeah. See, this is why we're out here doing what we're doing. No kid should have to step on this. That is not what you come to the beach for. This would just be a bad, bad trip to the hospital. And this is right along the towel line. Kids are gonna be running in here, playing. Now yes, was it 12 inches down in a hole? Is a kid likely gonna step on that today? No. But you can see what the beach is doing with these waves coming in and the way that it pulls and moves sand. In less than a week, this could be right on the surface or it could be pulled into the water. And uh, frankly, I do not need that for any kid or any person. They should not be stepping on that out here. So that's why we are out here doing what we're doing at Trash Bash. All right, I want to thank you guys for coming out to Trash Bash. This was a awesome event. All my metal detectorists and eye track volunteers, thank you so much. So far, we've got this big old bag of trash that we've cleaned up out here at Grand Haven State Park. So I know all the beach goers are gonna be super happy. The park staff's gonna be super happy. So to thank you, we have some raffle prizes here today. Uh, I've dug a few little things out of my treasure chest as well as Gravedigger Tools has sent us some awesome promotional items for you guys. So today's event is brought to you by Gravedigger Tools, an American company, family owned. If you haven't checked out Gravedigger Tools, you need to right now. I have a link below. Use code SWING FOR THE RING to save 10% off your entire purchase. But check this out. They sent us some awesome things to give away to our participants. They are gonna be stoked and they are doing a lot of difficult work out there digging trash today. So Gravedigger Tools, thank you so much for helping support this event and our participants. We love you and we love everything you guys are doing. Keep up the hard work and my volunteers are gonna be stoked at some of these giveaways. All right, let's check out some of this trash. All right, there's the bag of trash. I put my sandal there for comparison. Any guesses? Any guesses on how much trash we took off of that beach? Ugh, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty heavy. Whew. So uh, yeah, leave your comment down below. Guess how much trash we just took off of that beach. All right, we are at the Chow Hound. We've got the bag of trash. And we're gonna go weigh it. There's the scale. We've got it. Oh, we gotta tear it. We gotta tear it. All right, zeroed out. Here we go. Any guesses? Any guesses? Woo! There it is. 17 pounds of garbage taken off of that beach. Wow. You'll love to see it. So Trash Bash, a very easy event to set up. I encourage you and some of the other local metal detectors to get together, do that this spring, 
clean up a local park, beach, tot lots, whatever you would like to do to help the community, get out there and do it. And hey, remember, we're not always finding trash out there. Speaking of which, if you want to see something with a little bit more treasure in it, check out this video right here. But until next time, keep swinging for the ring.